So currently I'm restoring this big old scary Soviet fluorescent display clock. And there's the transformer, a bridge rectifier, a capacitor, quite a big one, a power transistor with some Zener diode. It makes a regulated power supply. And there is the main board with some buttons and other buttons are just membrane ones. Some diodes and three chips in here. One, two, three old Soviet chips. There's the crystal and the capacitor for adjustment. You can adjust the speed of the clock by turning it. There are other capacitors, resistors. And here is the vacuum fluorescent display, which I had to replace because the old one was completely worn out. And now it has the new one in it. And there's the battery compartment with 9 volt battery clip. And the year of manufacture is 1982, August. And I have also added a resistor in series with the heater filament to fine adjust the heater voltage because the heater voltage is critical for life expectancy of the fluorescent display. And those clocks usually have IVL175 display in it. And it has four digits with seven segments and a colon. And each digit has a grid for multiplexing. And there are three heater filaments horizontal in the display. Now you maybe can see them. They are very thin. And here you can see that the phosphorus in the old one is blackened. And in the new one the phosphorus is snow white. And the three chips are crystal oscillator with prescaler. This is the main clock controller. And this is the BCD27 segment decoder. And the heater filament requires 5 volts AC and it goes directly from the transformer. And there is also 27 volt DC supply for the anodes and grids. And there is also a power supply of about 9 volts for the chips. And this is just with a Zener diode. So I have put it back together and it seems to be working. And here come the buttons. This is to set the alarm clock. This is to set the minutes, hours. This is to reset the clock. This is to stop the alarm. This one is to choose high or low brightness. And this is the annoying sound of the alarm. And it seems to work. I can set it. The reset of minutes. And let's put the front cover on it. It's a really big scary clock with this ventilation grid. It's called Electronica 2. And the type marking is Electronica 2 06. It's made in the Soviet Union and the price was 50 rubles. So this is the big scary Soviet Cold War clock. And it draws about 2.3 watts. That's not so much for such an old big and evil clock. And the schematic of the clock is very similar to the other Soviet clocks like those guys or those guys. So this is Diagon Wild and see you in my next videos.